Good morning, boys and girls. Um, here we are with the passage that you will be doing today. It is called Big Brother and the Bats. And they already kind of give you a clue as to what kind of um, uh, text that is it is. It's fiction. So therefore, if it's fiction, we know that it's going to be, um, it's going to have characters, a setting, a problem, a solution, just some characters in there that may go through changes and learn a lesson, things like that that are, are very um, focal points in fiction work. It could be real, um, realistic fiction, which this passage is, and it's where the characters are humans. They, they go through some, you know, um, things that could realistically happen, and so that's what we're kind of looking at. So it's called Big Brother and the Bats. So I think that when I make a prediction, I'm going to make a prediction. I'm going to kind of look and skim through here. Um, I flipped to the next page and what I saw was actually a picture of a bat. So I wrote that down. I don't see any words that need to be underlined here. Let me look on this page. I see the word colorful that I might want to look at. Something with colorful. Uh, I don't really see any other words or anything that stands out. Uh, something about bats, though. Big Brother and the Bats. So I think it's going to be about siblings uh, seeing bats. And I don't think that they're talking about, like, baseball bat. I think bats having to do with the animal because there was that picture. So the next thing that I would do is I would go through and I would, I made my prediction. So then I would go through and I would look at the questions and I would code them. And I need to see this because I need to see that y'all know which words are, you know, important. And so for number one, it says in paragraph five, so we definitely need that. The word colorful means having what? That kind of question mark there. So colorful. So hopefully you kind of already know that. We've got the word color and then we added full to it. Okay, it's kind of like color plus full. Okay, so what would that mean in your mind? So kind of think about that as you're moving along. The next one says, which of these best describes the relationship between Clara and Andrew? Now, I know that Clara and Andrew are characters in the story, and we need to describe their relationship. So how are they? When we think of Clara and Andrew, when we read about them, are, are they going to have a good relationship, bad relationship? There's got to be some sort of evidence that helps us figure that out. Number three says, why is it important to the plot that Clara has to wait until sundown to see the bats? Okay, so we I just clarified this Clara. Get it clarified because her name's Clara. Uh, why is it important to the plot? Okay, important to the plot that Clara has to wait until sundown to see the bats. So I'm wondering if it kind of sounds like she has to wait is she either excited to see them or maybe she's not excited to see them i'm not sure though but she does have to wait a while so we have to kind of figure that out the next one is something that is um kind of maybe possibly new to you guys sorry i have some i don't know what that is oh looks like salsa yum um we have number four and we've got this first event second event third event and fourth event that we just we don't we don't know what happens there but we know all these things happen first so there'll be kind of a trick on how to do that which sentence belongs in the box so which sentence belongs in the box so which one of these things happens here okay so let's go to the the last two questions um Sorry about that. Okay, so it says, which sentence best states the theme? So the theme we remember is the lesson. And the person that um, learns the lesson are the character and the reader. That's you, okay? 
So the characters and the reader learn some sort of lesson from what happens in this story. And it's normally the main character that helps us with the, you know, learn what we learn. Um, the next one, so I can't really label anything. I have to actually read the whole passage. So the next one says, what is the best summary of this selection? Best summary of the selection. That's it. Um, some of the, some of the questions may say something like, which is the best summary of paragraph three or paragraph four? And if that was the case, um, or sometimes they give you a, a, a span of paragraphs, like paragraphs five through eight on those you would only need to block those particular portions out but um for this one you would not do that so right next to here since this is fiction um we need to make sure that the um the problem is listed the solution is listed and then we have the beginning middle end Okay, so I'm going to label that on every single one of these, okay? And we're going to kind of check and see um, which ones have all of these uh, attributes, okay? So see what I'm doing to every single answer choice. It's going to help me, okay? All right. So that is what we would look at. And then we know the one that has the most information um, that is important to the text will be the best um, summary. So the next thing that we would do since we coded the questions is we're going to go through and we are going to read. So I am just going to say that these paragraphs are pretty big. So I am going to read all of paragraph one to show you what it should look like. And then you are going to um, to do this, to do the rest of it on your own and answer the questions on your own. So it says, Clara was excited to visit her brother in Austin. Okay, so I'm going to underline Clara and put a C for character, okay? Um, in Austin, so that might be a possible setting. I'm going to label that with an S. Andrew may have been 10 years older than Clara, but she still thought of him as her best friend. Okay, so I am going to underline that because I remember there was a question about their like relationship. So I know that they love each other. So I'm going to kind of write that off to the side. She had missed him, which means again that they get along terribly since he moved away to attend the University of Texas. So far, she only saw him when he visited on weekends. Now, her parents were taking her to Austin. Okay, so I hear parents now. And I also see Andrew as a character. The parents are characters. As the family car pulled up to Andrew's new home, Clara was thrilled. So again, it's saying she's thrilled. So we know their relationship is very good. So when I think about it, okay, what is happening here? They are visiting... Andrew in Austin. That's it. I've been introduced to the character and the setting. And um, so as we kind of move along, we have to try to identify the problem. And we have to identify the solution. So when you find the problem, you're going to label it with a P. And when you find the solution, you're going to label it with an R. It's actually called the resolution. And you will label that in your passage, okay? All right. So basically, go through here, read, underline words that stick out to you. Um, maybe words that repeat themselves because those might be important to the story. Um, the other one that I wanted to show you since we've never really had like a, a bunch of questions like this or we haven't that many is this one right here. So it's going to say Clara visits her brother Andrew in Austin. So I'm going to go find that in the paragraph. Clara visits her brother in Austin. So I see it right here. This very, very, very first part. So I would underline this. Okay. And I'm going to put number one. That's like the first event. Okay. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to see the second event says she is afraid when she finds out they will see the Congress Street bats. So I would go there. 
She is afraid. Okay. So she's kind of right here. Andrew had said that he wanted to take her to see the famous Congress Street bats. So that's number two. That's the second thing. Okay. Not question number two. Event number two. Event number three says Andrew sees that she is afraid as they walk toward the park to watch the bats. So that's going to be probably towards the and he's gonna see that she's scared look right here in paragraph eight it says fortunately andrew knew his little sister you're freaked out aren't you that's number three okay so i have labeled those for you now that means that the fourth event has to be something that happens in 9 10 11 12 or 13 that's it we know that if anything else is in the answer choices that happen somewhere in here or on the first page, we know that it's wrong. So I wanted to help y'all through that one. And um, that's basically it. Just go ahead, make sure you do this. And then um, there's gonna be a Google form for you to be able to uh, answer, put in, input your answers, and then we will have your grade. All right, thanks, bye-bye.